La, 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 la. Okay, if you heard the la la la, it's because I was waiting for Twitch to tell me that I am online, which I am now. Fantastic. For me, not for you. Okay, we're going to go back to answering this question here in Stack Exchange about uh, how can we tell what planet a given, uh, uh, what constellation rather a given planet is in. Uh, and last time we came up with a fairly, uh, the, the goal of the force of answering Stack Exchange questions is to annoy people. Last time we came up with a fairly good annoying answer, but it turns out uh, that uh, Brandon, Mr. Smarty Pants Rhodes Scholar, uh, has actually solved the problem. So we, we do have some obligation to actually answer this correctly. So we're going to see how much of this crap we can get in there. But let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and answer the question uh, correctly. One word answer. Skyfield. And this one sentence answer, I'm going to try to plug in as much crap as possible. Um, and that includes the uh, GitHub uh, thing where I mentioned. Uh, uh, of course, I want to make sure this is the one, though. You know, I n Emacs maybe could do better if it, uh, if it used control. Actually, I could probably do that, couldn't I? Okay. So... So this is the one we need. Shiny, I didn't know it was still running Stellarium. It's amazing, because uh, this is all on a virtual machine, and it's actually going pretty reasonably. Okay, so we're going to use this one. So I actually, I, I do need to say one sentence answer. Brandon Rhodes. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I need to do my S I need to, in fact, do a couple of things. I actually created a startup script um, so I can remount everything and rsync stuff over and do a bunch of other stuff, including get the time working correctly. Uh, not, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it's kind of nice to keep the clock uh, somewhat correct. And that is, of course, uh, that is, of course, a UTC clock there. Okay. All right, so now let me try and save it. Good. Okay, per... Brandon Rhodes, Skyfield. Now, I don't feel like actually giving a... Eh, I probably should. I mean, it's really the same thing, but... Um, so, notice that I, I mentioned in here, which is the only reason I'm mentioning this. Uh, let's see, can we go over here to... Uh, um, Skyfield is actually not a... Okay, it is not a... Um, Wow. So it is, this is the one we need. Now computes. Now. Okay. Can now compute. Uh, let's make this even longer. Recent versions of the most most recent versions, so I don't want to see which ones, uh, can now compute what constellation a given uh, object is in by precessing the right ascension and a boy. I'm just going to talk talk this out. Declination to B eighteen seventy five. So this is one sentence, so I got to make it as long as possible. What comes with the precessing right ascension and declination? to be 1975 um, when the constellations were defined uh, the um, ooh, the epoch um, where the constellation definitions were the epoch where the constellation definitions were the epoch uh, where the constellations were defined with and I'm going to put straight in quotes because it's a sphere straight lines precisely the epoch and using a non-uniform grid. Uh, and using the, okay, so let's see. Uh, can now compute the by using, using a non-uniform grid to determine the constellation. This might be, this might be a little bit wordier than I want. Let's see, per blah, uh, and there should be a comma there, but I don't want to put a comma in a URL. Most recent versions of Brandon Road Skyfield, blah, 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 can now compute 
What constellation given an object is by precessing the right ascension declination to be 1975? The epoch of the constellations were defined straight lines and uh, by precessing and using a non uniform grid to determine the constellation. Okay, booyah. So the rest of this is just going to be my comments and crap and stuff. Let's get down to that because that's the exciting part. And I think a lot of the stuff we're not going to be able to put into the answer because it's, it's too irrelevant. It's annoying, but it's you have to be sort of play with the annoyance level here. And that might be going too far. So let's go ahead and... Um, so now the rest of this is going to be thoughts because now I can put in any crap I want here within reason. Um, okay, so the first sort of thing I want to complain about, these are the IAU... Um, um, Skyfield returns the International Astronomical... I want to spell it out because it's National Astronomical Union IAU's um, Constellation Definitions as per... And now I want to find the URL where the constellations are defined because, again, obnoxious. And I probably need to close some of these tabs off, but let's see where the, um, you would think that I would have a bookmark that, but naturally you wouldn't because I'm really bad at bookmarking stuff. But we should be able to get the page fairly quickly. Ah! Come on. Come on. Seriously. Okay, we're going to do this. I was going to add another, like, a parenthetical note about, um, that's not what I asked. Here we go. I think this is going to give us enough links to where things are, so I think this is fine. The first thing I'm going to put something in, in this one sentence, um, the epoch where the, oh, uh, in a book by somebody, De Stella Porte, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Which isn't necessarily ideal. And now here's where I get to be whiny. Now this is really not a separate bullet point. It really is part of the first bullet point, because I'm going to say for example. But I like bullet points. So there. <laughs> that explains it. Now I don't know if either one of these actually gives... Oops. Did I figure out? I, I did. Pictures. It's pictures, even though these are not pictures. So let's see. Um, this does not show what I want. Um, oh, yes. I was going to mention. Ah, yes. Okay, good. So this is going to be notes. Stellarium can display constellation boundaries. Um, I still want to mention this video, which I can't because it doesn't have a URL. It just will do it. Stellarium can display constellation boundaries. Can display precessed, because they actually do precess them. Now this is where I'm going a little bit crazy because, um, and I, that needs to be in the background, but anyway. That's one of the problems of, I'm using, F I mean I could use FEWM, but since I'm inside of a virtual machine, inside of a window, I really can't. Uh, and my, my sort of internal SVWM will take, o FVWM will take over. Um, uh, and I can put it in parentheses, I guess, names. Uh, and this is Stellarium. This is where I get to use Stellarium. Which one is this? Damn you. Zero, zero, zero. So that's where I'm going to upload. This is just a note to myself. I, I, I'm going to have to actually upload it. Okay, let's see what the second one does. Um, so does this kind of show that the boundaries don't really... This doesn't show that, actually. This shows sort of the opposite. This shows that the boundaries are pretty good. Um... Yeah, I think we can make this note here. This is actually the bad example. This is the good example. Um, t -t 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 
And I need to make sure I can relate this back to the question to mine. So I think he, uh, he does actually want to know what, what constellations the planets are in. So that's a, uh, that is an acceptable... Nope, that's not what I meant to do. And actually I should probably start using the uh, right-click feature here when I'm going to do something like this. Um, not XV, there we are. Oh, right, 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 so we need to be, um... Okay, now this, watch, this is really good. Um... Uh, da 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 Okay, and now this is sort of the sub point of this. Unlike the uh, astrological, the 12 astrological signs of the zodiac, which I discuss further at other brag for me, humble brag. I should just do a C. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so clever. Unlike the 12 astrological signs of the zodiac, um, there's two things I want to note. Uh, there are um, there are 13 signs in the IAU zodiac in parentheses, um, and the signs are nowhere in the sun doesn't spend uh, spends a highly doesn't spend even nearly the same amount of time in each constellation and this is where I get to brag and, and then I'll just put a period I'm just going to put this I think this is flurry this is which one which one is it oh three I need to put more here, so I'm going to put the triple star, which is my way of saying I need to put more there. Isn't, isn't it brilliant? Um, uh, as shown above, as shown above, there is much more the ecliptic, the ecliptic, I don't want to say the eclipse, the sun. I'm going to say the sun, it doesn't actually show this, but I'm in Virgo and then in Scorpio. See how clever I am? Okay. Um, um, and now we're going to go even further with this. Um, although the sun stays pretty close to the ecliptic, the other planets and moon do not. And I'm, I guess I'm going to say the sun in capitals because I'm referring to our sun specifically. It's if I were referring to it generically, I could use lowercase. Not that anyone cares. Um, which means that the moon, for example, can be in quote unquote non zodiacal constellations. Again, this is not really useful to this guy, but I wanted to get this one in here. Um, as noted in con okay, Age of Aquarius is stupid, uh, post fix with ecliptic length is not uniform. I think I've said that now, Western boundaries. Uh, okay. H A Ray McFana, planets do not. Um, here we go. I hope no one listens to this and thinks I'm bragging, which is what I'm doing, but I mean, I... Just okay. In non-zodiacal constellations. Good reference there. Uh, useless. Now, we probably need to return to this uh, sky field thing here, why, why, why we don't like it. Um, but... Oh, and I did mean to say something. Um, this is fairly low priority. Um, the technique Rhodes uses, I'm going to refer to him by his last name, Rhodes uses, 
is fairly generic and should be easily portable to other languages. I'm looking into which means no commitment, porting it to C myself so I can use it with C Spice. My version would also return how close, and again, this has nothing to do with this, to a boundary line a given object is. Object is. So I could use C Spice's geometric finder functions. Geometry finder functions. Isn't this beautiful? It's all crap. I can generate this stuff for, uh, for date, for all my life, I think. So I could use, okay. Uh, how, so I could use. So I, I, so people could use. Uh, I could use. That's fine. We're, we're good. Okay. Uh, so now we need to find some examples. Um, we're going to put a picture here and then say as above. Um, uh, what are we going to say? Say I'm a doofus. Oh, I don't have a back. I don't have a background image. It's probably good actually, but still a bit weird. Um, so I don't think any of the ones we have here is going to show that. We need to find a sort of a better examples. Uh, and we need to find sort of where it's fainter and it's in the ecliptic. Boy, that's three, three requirements right there. All right, let's see what we can do. Um, so let's, okay, first of all, let's stop the clock because it's annoying and we don't actually are not going to use it. I think we're in the correct mode for, for star charting. That's a word. And we're going to put constellation labels, constellation lines. Lines we do want, we do need names, and unfortunately the only way to get that is, there is a shortcut, I just don't ever remember it, so. Um, and this is not what we want, the location. Oh yeah, we're going to change the location to Albuquerque just to, un just to be a little bit annoying. And of course if we do this, we have to turn off Mr. Sun, because it is Mr. Uh, Mr. Sun is, is, is shiny, uh, which it is, actually. It's kind of nice. Uh, I mean, it, I'm not saying it's nice. That actually looks better than this, but this is the correct uh, modes for... Okay, so let's go ahead and back to these settings. Um, sky and viewing option window, markings, and we're in HA Ray right now. Um, I want constellation boundaries and not labels for right now. That, that sentence took forever to say. Okay, now why am I not seeing boundaries? I have boundaries, man. I have boundary issues. Okay, why? I don't have boundary issues. I want boundary issues. Um, art brightness. Well, see, the problem here is lines are pretty bright. And the boundaries... Maybe they're too faint. Maybe you need to crank this up a little bit. Or maybe it's just not working. I'm not happy. Oh, you know what? I might have to actually save this. Although I, I did earlier and, and it didn't do what I wanted, but anyway. Okay, so we're not seeing the constellation boundaries. I am unhappy. We're seeing a lot of stars, though. That's kind of cool. And we're not seeing the... Uh, you know what? We might need to show labels, and we don't need the cardinal directions here. We might need to show labels to show boundaries. I mean, there's no reason that should be, but, you know. Show labels, stereographic, celestial sphere, as musical galactic, equator, meridian... Uh, we could... The ecliptic might go too far here, but it's... Well, there it is. Okay, cool. Now we have the... Um, we have the uh, nice, uh, lovely ecliptic line. We do not have constellation boundaries, which is annoying me, although it might be because we've, we've actually frozen this machine and restarted it, and Stellarium's lived through that. So it's quite possible that uh, Stellarium is, you know, not happy. And by the way, if you, you know, you think, why am I referring to computer programs? They're real living creatures, actually. We, we, you won't discover that on Earth until later, but it does turn out that these are... Uh, living creatures who, uh, and, th and they do hurt and they do suffer when you use them. Um, and you will one day regret this. Um, okay, that's enough. Um, let's see. 
Oh, you know what? I didn't save these settings, which might be another reason, although we haven't restarted it, technically. Um, show planets. Yeah, I'm going to show the planets because we know they're sort of on the ecliptic. Well, no, they are on the ecliptic, not sort of. So before I... Before I um, before I restart this, I'm going to try to save these settings because I don't necessarily want to, uh, although not all of them are perfect, I don't necessarily want to um, want to restart them. And the save settings is, of course, right over nowhere. Um, let's go ahead and use H.A. Ray for right now, although he's not great. Um, a landscape we should, well, we're not using it, so it doesn't really matter. All right, where's your option to save things? Help. Configuration window. Uh, save settings. And now we X out of it. We don't X. We use this wonderful zero one one button. Uh, and now we start it up again. Because the only reason to stop Solarium is to restart it. And why are the constellation boundaries not here? I'm annoyed. Okay, this is... B and they were there, so it's not like this version doesn't do it. Okay, so now I'm annoyed. Location window, we're fine. The location's fine. The time is acceptable. We're going to stop it, though. Um, sky and viewing options. Blah. No twinkle. Oh. No, 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 no. No dynamic eye adaption. Um, yeah, we probably want to bump this down to 5.50. And I don't really know if we want to even show DSOs. Markings. So clearly... Why the hell isn't this working? Okay, let's do this. Let's get rid of this. Don't care. Don't care. Shiny. Okay, oh wow. That actually delete this reduced the number of stars quite a bit. Um, let's see if we can get constellation art. We cannot get constellation art going. Is is Tlerium unhappy about something? Let's see. Loading catalog file. System mini. Okay. This is not cool. So when I turn on Constellation Art, I mean, I don't want to see it, but it should be able to do it. Names? Nice. Lines? Nice. Boundaries? Well, I can turn them back on. And there might just, it might just be there's an error or something in loading boundaries. Okay, boundaries. No complaints! And at the same time, no boundaries. So that is not cool. Um, I could restart the VM or something, but I mean, at some point I don't care that much. Um, and in fact, as cool as Stellarium is, we can actually use existing resources, such as... <coughs> By the way, I do have a... Uh, my computer has a virus that it gave to me, so it's, it's pretty bad. Um, there is actually sort of a, a demonstration, a, a sort of a chart of constellations uh, that shows uh, that. And Wikipedia definitely has one, but um, yeah, but there are others as well. These are not; these are bad constellation charts um, with boundaries. Um, and I think we're going to have to go to Wikipedia. I have this one. It glows in the dark. Okay. Okay, Mr. Wikipedia. And I'm even going to try to do this correctly and put a W in front of constellations. Now, I'm not going to capitalize because that would be giving way too much. And, and I didn't mean that, so, you know, whatever. Um, go fuck yourself. Um, by the way, Wikipedia is a, a worthy cause, and I advise you to, uh, if you can afford it, uh, uh, nah, I don't care. Okay, there's, there we are. This is the constellation boundary map I was looking for. Oh, is this the boundary map? No, 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 no. It's a nice map, though. It's nice. Um, boundaries. Del Port. Not Del Porte, Del Port. Um, now where is... So I'm going to search for the word boundaries in here. I'm going to feel kind of bad if we don't find this. Um, uh, 
this is not likely to be um, useful. Um, in theory, we could find Delaporte's book, which is probably out of copyright now. Um, okay, I want to see if this th here has the boundaries, which is... Uh, oh, there we are. Yes, it does. Um, I don't know if it actually makes my point for me, though. Let's expand this chart a little bit. Wow, that is a nice freaking ass chart. Um, um, yeah, my point, do I, can I get rid of the freaking ecliptic? Ecliptic, no, I can't, this is an image. Um, especially in dark regions of the sky. And I was hoping to do the Aquarius Pisces thing, because I, because I like, because I want to get a double example out of that one. Um, uh, this is just really, really ugly, though. Uh, um, um, okay. I might actually have a map myself, but anyway. Oh, now am I going to go really crazy with this and say Pisces, Aquarius, uh, constellation, boundaries. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go effing crazy. Yay, Pisces. Come on, no. And the uh, map they're using here, by the way, if anyone's concerned, uh, is... I think it is the IAU one, so I think we can use it without any problem. Uh, we are going to use it, but whether or not we should. Um, um, and I think this is the region I want to talk about. Um, And now I'm not sure that I necessarily want to use this, and I want to use something I that I know is is within bounds. Um, so uh, if anyone's watching, let's see if anyone's actually watching the stream. Oh, good, no one is. So, so let's see. Spice. I used to have the uh, constellations here somewhere. I know that doesn't help you. Um, I mean, they're not necessarily on this machine is the issue. I can bring them over here, but, uh... Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I can't even do that here. Hang on. On my main machine, I can, uh... I index everything every night, and I can actually search to see where something a given thing is. Um... But I can't do that here, so it's not very useful to you. But it is useful to me to find what I'm... what's going on here. Um... And I don't know if Trillarium actually marks, um, they might, they might have their own boundary thing, and they, I mean, they must if they're going to draw it, but I, I'm going to see if I can find the, uh, IAU here. Um, seriously? I know I have the IAU downloaded, um, somewhere. Wow. Okay. Um, okay, this is going to get really ugly now. Um, by the way, this is the kind of time and effort I put into uh, annoying people. So it, it is an art. I mean, well, it's also science. I don't know. I don't know what I just said. Okay, and let's say site IAU.org. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Um, well, one of these <laughs> should be the right one. Um, is this Pisces? Um, no, that's Andromeda. This is becoming sort of a pain in the ass. 
Um, oh, but hang on. Whatever this is, I could probably use it to um, to figure out what the names were. Uh, to figure out what the, how to download them. Um, I think we're already here, though. Okay, let's see. Boundaries. Download. Oh, here we are. Yay! Now let's see what this one's called. It's okay. I'm not quite there yet. This is going to take us to a page with a, because uh, there's a sl slash mark in this. It's going to take us to a page. Oh, maybe they have some JavaScript going, though. Annoying. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. We don't even need this anymore. Stop. Stop. Oh, we're not loading anymore. Okay. It's this thing that's still loading. We're going to just close that up. Okay, so here we are. The GIF is going to be called A. Okay, this is what I was looking for. It's all capital letters. That's why I wasn't be able to find it earlier. Uh, and it's three-letter abbreviations, although I think that... No, that actually is going to have an effect, too. What the hell? Oh, it's GIF. They're using the GIF format. Not ping, but GIF. Not that it matters to most people. Okay. Oh, boy. So what I'm going to do here is... Let me see if I have this... I know this is the name, but now yeah, I don't have it. I do have it on my other machine. I'm going to rsync, but I, I want to kind of rsync minimally. Um, it's always a good plan, but doesn't always work. Um, I think I actually only have it in one place. So, oy vey! Oh, you know what I can do? I can actually go. I can reverse rsync, which is the same as forward rsyncing, but but different. Okay, so let's see here. Because I know I did a sort of a mass download, and um, come on, oh Jesus Christ! Um, oh wow, I've got the Nomad data here, and no one ever will want it. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, and this is actually just a just a hard download, so I think this will do what I want. Oh no, these are the thumbnails. <coughs> They're way too tiny. Okay, hang on. Stand by. Let's see if I can find ones that are not thumbnails. You know what? I might not freaking have them. I'm going to be really freaking annoyed if I don't have them. Um. God damn it. Well, we can get the one we need from here, but I'm actually sort of unhappy that I don't have the the huge giganto ones. In fact, I'm unhappy enough that I probably am going to go ahead and get them. Um, mm, something is very wrong. Okay. So how did I not manage to get them? Or were they just smaller back then? Um... I think this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to have to mark it up. Uh, which I don't like doing, but... Okay. Uh, and this is allows me to do the whole Age of Aquarius shit, too. Okay. So hang on. St stand by while I try to figure out why I don't have the... Um, the large versions, or if I do, where the hell they are. I do not. And notice this is under the GIF. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I got really clever and uh, and did this to me. So I'm going to make a note here on my other machine. Doing download full-size constellation charts from IAU. Uh, and I'm also going to be annoyed at myself for... Uh, for not having them, and I, I'm now annoyed at myself. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and um, save image as. We're going to keep this. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this. Uh, wait, whoa, Jesus freaking Christ! Hang on. Okay, cool. So now my um, Firefox window is bigger than freak. I want to just do. A, this is the image, isn't it? Oh, I can just do a save here. 
just going to do this. Hope that works. And we're not going to mess with the original image. Let's make sure it's there, though. Okay. Um, and now we're going to mess with it, I think. Um, the messing is going to be small enough that we can use the display program, which is image magic. Um, uh, let's see, so we're going to say the, the faint stars here are right between, and those are the ones we actually want to sort of, um, okay, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to annotate actually, no, view, transform, enhance, image edit, annotate. So now we need to, uh, no, that's not what I meant to do actually. I meant to do uh, image edit, I meant to draw on the image. Um, I'm going to use a, uh, a empty rectangle. I'm going to use, I think, yellow being sort of the color that I want to use here. So let's see. So we're going to claim that over here, uh, you know, it would be very ambiguous for a, yeah, that's not going to work. Now I'm wondering if I can brighten dark. See, now we're getting into image manipulation, which is like insanely more difficult. Set undo. There we go. Uh, then and then doing other stuff. So let's see if we can go. I, I don't want to spend too much time on this, although I just said that. And um, I wonder if I can reverse color. No, that's going to be hideous. So let me choose an area of interest here, which apparently I can't do. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe I, I can't do this. Um, um, I could put a big arrow. That's not really nice either. Uh, maybe just a big fat rectangle will do. If anybody is watching this and has any ideas, and I mean any ideas, you know. I mean, if you want to see a sitcom that maybe someone wants to reboot or make, that would be fine. Just like in that movie Airplane. Um, uh, let me know. So we're going to make this color, I think we'll leave it, no, we'll make it red, because that'll stand out on this thing. Color red, stipple, no stippling, width. This is where I'm going to have to pump this up a little bit. So now... Okay, that's not what I wanted at all. I don't know how that got in there. Okay. What the? Oh, there we go. I think I'm going to make it worse if I do anything more with it. So, so we're going to go ahead and save this. Save. I'm pretty sure I have it. Control S does a save. And this is going to be home user downloads uh, and PCS final. And because <laughs> it's not going to be the final one. Um, and we'll go ahead and quit out of image magic. And now we can say, uh, now we can put an image here. This is a nice break, actually, um, because now I, I don't have to make another bullet point for this. And yet I can still sort of break it up a little bit. Um, for example, image above, um, which I guess I should bring up if I'm going to, oh, I don't need this one either, do I? Oh, I can, it's a window. All right, um, image above, an observer would be hard pressed, that's too, too casual, and the image above, Um, well, good thing it's final and not marked. All right. The Im image above, you couldn't really tell which constellation, um, the stars inside the red, I'm going to call it a box, and it's a rectangle. You couldn't really tell which constellation the stars in the red box were, 
unless you happened uh, um, just by looking just by looking at the constellation figures. Uh, now the, he did mention them about correlating to uh, historical, so this is where I get to kind of pull him in a little bit and say, "Yes, you did this." Yes, I could. Um, you mentioned. Ah. Archeo. That's a good word. I'm going to use that word. Archeoastronomical. I like that word. Um, the stars in the red side of the red box. Um, since Archeo astronomy. That's a, such a big, light, lovely word. Uh, predates the IAU's definitions. Um, these definitions. Um, since archaeoastronomy predates the IAU's bound, uh, uh, definitions, they are definitions technically. Um, the IAU's boundaries wouldn't be helpful. I suspect you're more looking for when an object, I'm going to call it an object, that he, I think he specifies planets, um, is really inside a given constellation. Um, so for the, uh, for the example of the image, you couldn't tell which uh, inside the stars in the red box are just by looking at the con since it uh, predates, uh, it wouldn't be helpful without knowing the boundaries in advance. So I'm going to really stretch this out. Okay. Here's where we get clever. This is also why determining the start of the age of Aquarius is non-trivial. The... Oh man, I'm going to have to figure out who did this because I don't want to be wrong. It's the Incans or the Mayans or somebody who's dead. I mean, some... Or maybe they're not dead. I don't even know anymore. Um... Who? Oh, come on! Here we are. Um. Okay, seriously, do we have Mayans? Do we have Incans? Incans? And you know what I'm gonna call them? I'm gonna call them ancient people. Um. Um. <laughs> So it's, it's unlikely that ancient peoples knew of or could predict IAU's boundaries. This is beautiful here. We've pretty much debunked it. Um, unlike the 12 signs of the zodiac. I want to be careful. These aren't really in any order, but... Um, okay, all the sun is okay. Okay, mention this video, which I will do. Age of Aquarius is stupid. Post pick with constellation boundaries. Um, I did that. I actually found that. It was actually kind of nice. Um, this one we might have to dump the uh, western boundaries and the uh, HA ray boundaries. Boundaries not really inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make fun of HA ray later. Um, got that one. On pa this is where I make point out H.A. Ray does know that he is uh, putting a star outside of the uh, correct constellation. I A U Org B nineteen seventy five. Okay, we could do that. I think I mentioned this above. I have. Uh, Skyfield more useful. Mention my project. What project is that? I can't really mention my project now because it's already been, it's basically been done. I just need to translate it now. Okay, so the only thing you need to uh, mention here is this video, which I can't mention. Uh, well, I'll mention it, but it'll be, um, it'll have to be in the future. Uh, okay. 
and I might just use the two. Uh, I live streamed my answering this question at. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the one that I know about, and then the one that doesn't exist yet. Uh, fun, fun. Now you would think that it'd be better knowing where my freaking videos are, but I don't. Uh, where are my videos? I want to go to studio. I'm going to go studio now. Um, and this is actually... Hell? Yeah, it's... No one's supposed to watch these. Uh, okay, hang Where's my list of all my videos? There's my list of all my videos. And hopefully the... URL and I want the freak oh shiny details where can I show videos to people's that's not made for kids on a minor here it is video link and the weird thing is I'm gonna have to finish this answer after the stream ends um, Okay, I think we are we are ready to. Uh, so I think we've answered this question. Um, I'm going to end this stream. It's a short stream. It's only about um, a 45. Wow, that's not as short as I thought. Uh, it is, and, but I'm going to try to find something else to, to stream about in just a minute. I did want to get this finished, uh, but we might go back to something else and stream again within a few minutes or so. Um, so keep your notifications turned on, whatever the hell it is you need to do, or not, I don't care, really, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and end this stream now, and I might be back shortly. Bye for now.